China is ruled from Beijing, but it was here, gathering at this very spot in Shanghai, that the communists began their push for power. One hundred years on, with around 90 million members, some are still as fervent in their following. This man checks a special app on the ideas of China's current leader every morning. The first thing I do when I wake up is to answer the test questions. Of course, it's meaningful, so your mindset won't be loosened. But China's communists have, well, how can you put it, evolved. Well, most have. Xi Jinping has been China's chief communist for almost a decade. But the precise role of private enterprise and private money here is still uncertain. Take a look at Shanghai's skyline. It's littered with numerous examples of tall, strong private companies. But the government-controlled firms with their party links, they're usually nearby. The government and the Communist Party control key areas of industry here. But private firms are the vast bulk of enterprise now. They create most new jobs. Here's how the relationship works, according to one businessman. I feel the environment is very important because our party and the country give us the feeling that it is very safe. So we must be inseparable from the harmony of the society in the process of starting a business, right? In short, the Communist Party wants business folk to get on with investing, innovating and expanding. In return, the companies, though, mustn't rock the boat. They mustn't challenge party control. We tried to get more people to sit down with me and talk to us about doing business in China. Factory owner, a very senior and well-connected academic, but none would talk on camera or on the record. The reason some are wary, well, they fear they may put a foot wrong and upset this man. We encourage private enterprises to develop. China's leader Xi Jinping knows that private business is key to economic growth and keeping his Communist Party in control. Hence this endorsement earlier this year. The party and the state will offer support and provide guidance when private enterprises have difficulties. Therefore, private enterprises should strive to thrive bravely. Thrive, yes, but with the party there to supervise. Almost half of private firms now have a party committee. As China's communists mark their centenary, the recent struggles of this man tells you a lot about doing business in China. Uh, what, uh, uh, Robin, uh, BBC News. When I spoke to Jack Ma a few years back, he was approaching the height of his power, the co-founder and boss of Alibaba, the world's biggest retailer. China's most famous business person, a card-carrying party member. But late last year, a crackdown came from on high. Alipay, part of the bank-busting credit giant he founded, was about to go public. The government stopped it. Since then, Ma has barely been seen in public. His company had become too big, too powerful, a systemic threat, the government said. In today's China, Xi Jinping wants private business to thrive, but only if it will help the party thrive a little bit more.